state of Israel is the perpetrator state. So our Boycott Israel campaign is to say don't buy Israeli goods wherever you find them. Don't buy from Israeli, from American companies that are profiting from business with Israel wherever you find them. We've been boycotting some uh, products at Trader Joe's, for example. We're not boycotting Trader Joe's. We're telling people, go ahead and shop at Trader Joe's. Just don't buy Israeli couscous at Trader Joe's. We'd like Trader Joe's to take that off the shelves. We'd like Trader Joe's to support human rights, uh, to resist military dictatorship, to support equal rights for Palestinians and Israelis. The boycott today is uh, about this uh, American apparel company that has opened new stores in Jerusalem. This company, therefore American Apparel, is going to profit by doing business with Israel. That the state of Israel is committing war crimes, apartheid, crimes against humanity. And so we need wide-ranging economic pressure on Israel just as was put on old South Africa and for the same reasons. For the past few years we are seeing overwhelming support for our for our cause, uh, uh, mainly for, for justice in the Middle East, not just necessarily Israel-Palestine. And uh, part of today's action is to do this, to educate people that dealing with, even doing business with an entity, regardless of whether it's Israel or Colombia or a a anybody who is uh, uh, violating international law, it should not be accepted by, by anyone. And for us to do business with them, it is, uh, it's against our values and, and, and every American should stand with us in uh, opposing um, these, these partnerships between American businesses and the Israeli occupation. The Palestinian movement worldwide has called for a boycott, divestment, and sanctions against Israel to try and get some sort of civil rights and justice. The behavior of Israel is actually creating more and more enemies for the United States and the West in general. Mm -hmm.